Did you know that Ruth Warwick was a famous actress who played Emily in a really famous movie? She was also on a TV show called All My Children for a super long time. Warwick acted in movies and on TV for a really long time, showing she was good at both. People still remember her for her acting because she was really good at it. Feel free to share any memories or stories you have about her. There's a lot to know about her, and I'll be sharing more interesting facts soon. Embarking on a journey through the annals of film history, one encounters the remarkable career of a seasoned actress. With roles spanning across genres, she left an indelible mark on cinema. Notably, in a renowned production directed by Orson Welles, she portrayed a pivotal character, the first wife of a powerful figure. This film is celebrated for its compelling narrative and cinematic techniques. Another notable appearance was in a thrilling historical drama where she showcased her versatility in a swashbuckling adventure. For those curious about her work, exploring these films provides a glimpse into her talent and the enduring appeal of classic cinema. These movies serve as timeless reminders of her contributions to the silver screen. In the world of entertainment, there are stories that echo through time, leaving an unforgettable impression on those who hear them. One such tale revolves around a talented individual whose journey from humble beginnings to the heights of fame serves as an inspiration to many. From auditions that changed the course of their life to the mentorship that shaped their career, this narrative is a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Their story began with a pivotal audition for a role in a legendary movie, during which they unknowingly impressed everyone in the room, including the renowned director. Throughout their career, they found guidance and encouragement from a mentor whose wisdom helped them navigate the challenges of the industry. Their contributions to the silver screen are immortalized in the timeless classics they starred in, from their early days in Hollywood to their later endeavors on stage and television. Their versatility and dedication left a lasting impact on the entertainment world, inspiring generations of admirers. Even after their passing, their story continues to captivate audiences, reminding us of the extraordinary journey they embarked on. It serves as a poignant reminder of the power of dreams and the resilience required to chase them. In her role as Phoebe Tyler Wallingford in All My Children, she amazed viewers with her detailed acting, earning praise, and becoming the focus of two well-known books, All Her Children by Dan Wakefield, and The Confessions of Phoebe Tyler, which she wrote herself. While playing Hannah Court in Peyton Place, she bravely spoke out about her displeasure with her co-star, openly saying she didn't enjoy working with him because he seemed too focused on himself. During her time on the soap opera's Guiding Light, and as the world turns, Proctor and Gamble generously helped pay for her children's education, making sure they could go to college without worrying about money. The support showed how much the company cared about its employees and their families. She's remembered not just for her acting talent, but also for the way she affected people's lives, both professionally and personally. In the annals of entertainment history, there's a figure whose presence both on stage and screen left an unmistakable impression. A star whose talent transcended mediums, captivating audiences with each performance. From the bright lights of Broadway to the drama-filled sets of television, this individual's career is a testament to their versatility and skill. During a visit to the 1939 New York's World Fair, they found themselves drawn to the RCA exhibit, a moment that perhaps sparked the beginning of a remarkable journey in the world of entertainment. Their roles in notable Broadway productions like Take Me Along and Irene showcased their ability to command the stage, earning them acclaim and adoration from theatergoers. In the realm of television, they graced the screens as Hannah Cord in a series that not only captivated audiences, but also provided a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the show. Their portrayal added depth to the storyline, while off-screen drama added another layer of interest to the narrative. Their ability to embody characters with authenticity endeared them to audiences and critics alike, leaving a lasting impression on the world of entertainment. Their career, filled with memorable performances and intriguing stories, stands as a testament to their impact on the industry. This narrative, rich with tales of talent and drama, reflects the remarkable journey of this individual and their significant contributions to entertainment. Phoebe Tyler Wallingford, the character portrayed by Ruth Warwick, holds the 22nd spot on the all-time list of longest-serving soap opera actors in the United States. Her upbringing was marked by humble beginnings in St. Joseph, Missouri, where her mother, Annie L. Warwick, rented a house lacking basic amenities like a furnace, with only one potbelly stove to provide warmth. Despite these challenges, she pursued her education diligently and successfully graduated from the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Her journey from modest beginnings to soap opera stardom is a testament to her resilience and determination. 
For nearly a decade, she called Los Angeles, California, home as she chased her dream of acting in movies. During those years, she worked hard to make a name for herself in the industry, refining her skills and making important connections. However, in 2001, while on vacation in Greece, an unexpected hip injury changed everything. She found herself in a wheelchair, altering the path of her career and life. Despite this setback, she stayed strong, refusing to let challenges define her. She decided to stay involved with All My Children, a show she'd been part of since 1970. However, the injury meant a smaller role, testing her both physically and emotionally. It was a tough time, but she faced it with grace and determination. Her journey on the show started with modest pay, but her talent and perseverance helped her climb the ranks, making a lasting impact on the show and the industry. Her story shows the strength of the human spirit and the importance of pushing through tough times. Despite the difficulties, she stayed true to her passion, leaving behind a story that continues to inspire new actors and actresses. In Hollywood history, her name stands for talent, determination, and overcoming challenges a reminder that real success isn't just about achievements, but also about facing obstacles and chasing dreams against all odds. Relative to actress Mimi Kennedy, Ruth Warwick made a lasting impression in the TV world. In 1970, she brought the character Phoebe Tyler Wallingford to life on All My Children. Back in the mid-1950s, while on As the World Turns, she worked alongside soap star Helen Wagner. Warwick played Wagner's TV sister for four years, and their on-screen connection turned into a real-life friendship that lasted nearly 50 years until Warwick passed away on January 15, 2005. Their bond, formed through portraying sisters on TV, went beyond the studio. Over their careers, Warwick and Wagner supported each other through ups and downs. Their connections showed the enduring friendships that can grow in the entertainment world. Through her roles in relationships, Warwick left a lasting impression that continues to inspire actors and viewers alike, reminding us of the storytelling's power to create meaningful connections. This tribute to her life and career is a nod to her talent and the impression she left in the hearts of many. In July 2000, she declined a Lifetime Achievement Award from the South Carolina Arts Commission due to her objection to the relocation of the Confederate flag on the state capitol grounds rather than its complete removal. She was an advocate for African-American rights and saw the flag as a symbol of oppression. She had a wide circle of friends in the entertainment industry, including Louis Edmonds, Francis Heflin, Eileen Hurley, Jane Wyman, Buddy Ebsen, and others. In the film March of Triumph, she played Kate Bergstrom. The original cut of the movie was four hours long, but in the final version, which ran for 133 minutes, many actors, including her, had their roles reduced or eliminated.